When someone we love dies, it can be a traumatic and confusing experience. We can ask ourselves many things at the time. Why did this happen? Am I strong enough to tell people about it? But one question we may neglect to ask ourselves in the weeks or months after a loss is, how do I feel? I experienced loss at a very young age. My father was killed in a plane crash when I was five. And then just a few years later, my mother lost her new husband, my stepfather, in exactly the same way. It was a difficult time, and I know that at that age, I wasn't able to process it properly, which is why I understand how important the work of the charity Winston's Wish is. They support children and young people, along with their families, who've experienced the death of someone close to them. Whatever your feeling is okay. Then we got this one. Such was the case for Barry and his son, Eddie, they had to deal with a profound loss when Eddie was just two years old. Liz was someone who, was, who just loved life. She was a wonderful mum to Eddie. He was so proud. It's a dream come true for her. Liz was diagnosed with cervical cancer in 2008. She had chemotherapy and seemed to be responding well, but a few months later suffered a fall and was taken to hospital. The doctor said the results were in and it's not good. A scan had showed that the, the cancer had come back and it had spread to Liz's spine and that um, there wasn't an awful lot they could do, but it was just heartbreaking. But I didn't go back to work that day and I didn't go back to work for probably about another six or seven months and when I did go back, I was widowed. After we'd been told the news, we decided that we would make the best of the time that we had. Barry and Liz were both deeply concerned as to what lay ahead for Eddie. So before she died, they contacted Winston's Wish to get support through their helpline. Eddie? Yeah. One thing that Winston's Wish suggested straight away was that we could create a memory box and Liz could contribute to what she wanted in the memory box as well. It's what Mummy used to wear. There's lots of different things in there, pieces of who his mum was that keeps that memory alive. That's the bracelet I bought Mummy. That's nice. That Winston's wish of helping me and my dad express our emotions. Knowing that my mum did all the stuff for me to remember is really nice. Winston's wish understands that for these children and those around them, life will never be the same again. So they've worked incredibly hard to offer a wide range of services to help support those affected and come to terms with their experience. At Winston's Wish, we are acutely aware that it is so important for young people to have a chance to talk about what's happened to them. Giving them a space where they feel safe to be able to explore that is really, really important. The pain of losing someone in any circumstance and at any age can be devastating. But experiencing the death of a parent during those formative years can leave a child in total shock. And without that crucial role model we all need to support and encourage us through everything in life. Fifteen-year-old like Tom struggled with exactly this. My dad was a really devoted dad. His dad, Nick, had been diagnosed with myeloma, a type of cancer which affects the blood. He received treatment, which was working, and recovery seemed possible. Tragically, he contracted an infection and became seriously ill. Such a difficult thing for Tom because he saw his dad you know, lying in bed in intensive care and he just didn't look like how he remembered him. Nick was in a coma, so Tom never had a chance to say goodbye to him. And so I think for Tom, that was part of the trauma. Nick died in April 2019 after spending two weeks in intensive care. The day he died, from that day onwards, my grief started to like settle in. He was incredibly emotional and breaking down and crying. And at other times, he was just sort of going through the motions. Sam decided she must get some help for Tom, and so reached out to Winston's Wish. Hey Tom, how are you doing? Very good, thank you, how are you? Claire, a bereavement support worker, soon began working with him, 
through the charity's virtual support programme. Winston's Wish means like a massive difference in my life. It helps me replace my grief with positive thoughts in life. Sometimes when a family member dies, the child left behind can feel as though they have to shoulder the burden to be strong for their remaining family. This can impact them in many ways and potentially have heartbreaking, deep-seated repercussions for years to come. My dearest Tiffy, happy birthday 1999, love daddy. Tiffany is 27. She was only six when her dad, Mike, was diagnosed with terminal bowel cancer. So he wanted to make sure that I had memories. So we started doing everything together. It wasn't until the last couple of weeks that I could really see that there was something wrong. And that was the day that he died. The loss of her father devastated the family. Mum took it really, really hard. Daddy had always been her protector and I took on that responsibility. I wanted to be the fixer that he had been. A difficult two years passed and as they readjusted to life without Mike, Tiffany's mum met a new partner. But just months into their relationship, they received terrible news. He had died whilst on an adventure holiday. Everything that we had done to put ourselves together, I knew it was all it had all gone. So things started to get really hard. Then I started, I started self-harming because talking wasn't an option. After weeks of anguish, Tiffany confided in her mum. It was then they got in touch with the charity and she received the support she so desperately needed through face-to-face -face counselling and group sessions. Winston's wish gave me a life back. They allowed me to come to terms with what I'd been through. My dad would always be a part of who I am. And the fact that he died is really sad, but it doesn't mean that I need to be sad forever. The work of Winston's wish is simple. To listen when a child is grieving, to act when they need help, and to know what to say when it's time to talk. That support can help a person look to the future with hope and strength while still being able to remember lovingly the one they've lost. So please, help them to be there for all those young people and their families, and donate now. To make a donation, please go to the website, winstonswish.org donate. If you would like to post a donation, please make your cheque payable to Winston's Wish, 17 Royal Crescent, Cheltenham, GL50, 3DA. Thank you very much.